Last summer, I sat as a member of this audience, hearing of all the ways the AVID program would transform my students, my school, and even myself. I fantasized about massive projects and challenging, engaging lessons that would stretch my already motivated AVID students towards ever greater levels of understanding. As the school year unfolded, however, I realized that I faced innumerable obstacles to making my AVID dreams a reality. Years of bad work habits by students died hard, and I found myself completely overwhelmed by the challenges I faced. Forget Cornell notes and well-organized binders with a neatly completed assignment log introducing each section of the notebook. I was trying to find solutions to problems like, how do I get them to sit down? <laughs> I frantically flipped through all of the AVID materials provided in search of new strategies to stop them from insulting each other or throwing things across the room or really generally refusing to complete anything during our time together. I thought back to the training I received at the Atlanta Summer Institute. I remembered those poised, self-confident students who addressed a huge gathering of teachers sharing inspirational stories of triumph and perseverance. And I remembered those students who visited my avid elective teacher strand, binders in hand. They seemed to have such pride in their work and delighted showing their efforts to everyone involved. Somewhere along the way, I convinced myself, Parkview High School's AVID program had seriously veered off course, and I was at a loss for how to right the ship. Eventually, however, I began to realize that perhaps this was not a student issue. Perhaps what I was dealing with was a teacher issue, and one that I was empowered to solve. This realization came only with the help of several other AVID colleagues, specifically Buck Payne and his AVID site team at Falls Church High School in Fairfax County, Virginia. And Mr. Payne is here today, actually. Several members of Parkview High School's AVID site team visited Mr. Payne and marveled at the amazing accomplishments of his AVID program. AVID philosophies permeated the teaching and learning in the school. Students seemed attentive, focused, and fixated on academic success. As Mr. Payne spoke to us, however, he related his school's own struggles on the way to becoming an AVID demonstration site. The issues we faced at Parkview seemed to mirror his own struggles in beginning his program at Falls Church eight years earlier. With time, I realized that perhaps I had been teaching the AVID class with the wrong focus in mind. My expectation was that dedicated, well-mannered achievement machines would be walking through the doors on the first day of school. And all they would need from me would be a motivational pep talk or two before the big test, just like they showed in the movies. I had neglected the best part of teaching AVID with that philosophy, the day-to-day -day struggle, the slow and arduous but always hopeful march towards excellence and a better tomorrow. There's a line in a Leonard Bernstein song that goes, there's a crack in everything. That's how the light gets in. For too long, I had plastered over those cracks, neglecting the teachable moments that each presented. I realized that long simmering fuse between teachers and students were in fact an opportunity for students to practice being productive self-advocates for their own learning, rather than a chance for me to say, just get over it or do your work. And missing homework assignments were opportunities to discuss the motivations of both students and teachers and to reconsider how homework could become a more productive practice for both parties. Slowly, our AVID program began to find its footing. Tutorials took on a new life through deepening curiosity and student engagement. And assignments were completed, not with grudging acquiescence, but with a newfound pride in the product that was created. As Shauna, one of Parkview's AVID students wrote, AVID is like a big family. We try to rely on each other and motivate one another. As the teachers grow to become more familiar with teaching us about the AVID program, we're growing as a family that gets closer as the year goes on. And today, I could think of no better metaphor to describe our AVID program. We are a family. There are transgressions and broken rules. There are fights and disappointments. But there is also tolerance and acceptance and support to lighten the load of our daily struggles. We are not perfect, but no family is. But we have charted our course. And one year into our AVID experience, experiment, I am confident that our students will find a new successful and fulfilling reality that they have too long postponed by calling it a dream. Thank you.